Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Nowadays I'm exploring the Airbus A310 which is the default plane for the Microsoft Flight Simulator and I'm planning to make a series of videos in which I will break down all the information related to a flight in different videos uh, so that it's easy for you to look for a specific information on my channel uh, rather than making a complete big video. Uh, obviously I will also upload that as well. This is going to be a short video and the first video in which I will tell you how to connect the sim brief account with mcdo of this plane uh, because then it's easy for you to import the flight plan over here in the mcdo and do a flight so if you go to the mcdo of this plane uh, you will see this option let me just adjust the view or maybe i can use control 3 oops it didn't work over here anyhow uh, i can just go to this option menu and i can go to this option a cars and over here you can see uh, you can enter the username for your sim brief account and uh, then you can request the sim brief flight plan as every time when i'm making a video i'm keeping this thing in mind that the beginners will be watching it so a little bit of introduction of the sim brief uh, simbrief.com is a free website where you can just come and uh, make uh, free flight plans and uh, you can have your account without any cost but you have to pay for uh, the navigraph uh, subscription if you want the arac cycle which is a database uh, for all the airways and the waypoints and uh, the sail and star for different airports. Now you have to get that uh, subscription for the Navy, Navigraph. Otherwise, you can just make flight plans, but I don't think so. If you have an updated ARAG cycle, it will really help you. Uh, so over here, you have uh, an option of pilot ID. You simply have to pick up your pilot ID and enter it over there in the MCDU. So uh, you can just... Uh, uh, let me just get rid of this message and then you can just type in your pilot ID over there. And then you can click this uh, left soft key, the first one, and then your username will be entered. And it will remain there till the time you uninstall the Microsoft Flight Simulator. And with this, you can also request the sim brief. If you press request, it will say pending. And now you will be taken to this page, initialization page. Over here, you will see the departure and the arrival airport has been updated and uh, plus uh, you have to basically align the iris because i have done the iris uh, iris alignment as you can see no message is coming because if you go to the electronic flight bag you can see that i have set the iris alignment to instant uh, if you have set it to realistic it will take some time seven to eight minutes but short two to three minutes instant it's done instantly so you can do the iris alignment and plus uh, you can enter uh, the cost index, it is not picked up from the flight plan. Let me just get rid of all these messages and then I can enter the cost index, which is 30. It is a number which actually determines the fuel burning rate of the plane. The smaller the number, less fuel is burned. Plane goes at a slow speed, but the range increases and uh, vice versa. Okay, the f cruise uh, flight level has been picked up. Flight level 360. I will be doing a short flight from uh, Dubai to Qatar. And uh, the flight ID, you can enter it. I always use my initials with 123. But if you want to have any flight ID, you can pick it up uh, from... Um, uh, you can just enter it over here, <laughs> not pick it up. Okay, and then uh, the cruise wind is automatically updated. Otherwise, you have to enter it yourself. And then uh, as soon as you enter uh, the cruise, cruising altitude, the temperature will also be updated. If you go to the next page, which is the initialization B page, block fuel, zero fuel weight, and zero fuel weight center of gravity, you have to enter it yourself. And if you go to the flight plan, you will see all the waypoints and the airways have been updated. All you have to do is this, select the SID and the STAR, which is the standard instrument departure and standard terminal arrival. So if you go to this option, OMDB, and you select uh, standard instrument departure, I can uh, use any of the runways, uh, 30 right or 30 left. Let's say I'm taking off from 30 right, and then I can select a set, and uh, I can press this button insert, and then I can go to the end of the flight plan where I can just select the star, 34 right, I can select the transition, and then the star. That's it, and now you can see the flight plan is also updated. So if you change the view, you can just scroll through the flight plan to see if there is any issue in the flight plan or not. There will be one discontinuity because it is because of the vectors coming over here. You have to fly on the 
headings given by the ATC and then you have to go for the approach and then the final approach. That's it. And uh, for the takeoff uh, performance, you have uh, your electronic flight bag. Over here, you just simply enter this information and then you populate the MCDU and set the flex to temp over here and that's it. So this is how you can do a quick flight planning with the help of your SimBrief account. It's very easy. Although you have to enter this uh, few of the information over there, but still the major part, which is to enter all the waypoints and airways, it's there because it gets very difficult to do that. And then you can also uh, get the secondary flight plan as per your primary flight plan. That's it. I hope uh, this video was, uh, uh, was really useful for you. It was a short one, but I think it will really help you in connecting the Airbus A310 with a SimBrief account. If you've got any questions, the comment section is there for you. Oh, and uh, if you want to add anything to, uh, to this video, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.